Welcome again to another episode with local housing data for September of 2024. Uh, this is about uh, single family homes. So each month we'll bring you a report about the activity of single family homes in uh, some of the towns that we are working with. And we're going to start with Medfield, Massachusetts. Compared to a month ago, uh, the unit sales in Medfield were up, so we had more inventory, so they went by 37%. So this is compared to September of 2023, so we have more properties for sale on the market. Uh, the second uh, activity that we see on the market is the month of inventory again, so it's, it's going to be up by 42 percent so uh, we have more inventory compared to the last year so this is a great news for the buyers that are on the market right now looking to purchase a property in Medfield. so they're gonna have more inventory more houses to choose from medium sales price despite that we have building more inventory medium sales price in Medfield. It's now to close to 1.2 million. So, and this has been up by 36.8%. Another thing that we can see days on the market, it's going up by 13.6%. As we see across of other markets, uh, we see that the properties are staying even longer on the market at the moment. So we are also building more inventory. And that's another indicator here that the months of supply has has gone up by 39%. However, we still are on the seller's market. So this margin between the seller and buyer to be equal market. So the month of supply has to be close to six. So the properties has have to stay about six months on the market. Medium sales price per square feet has been going up by 12.7% compared to September of 2023 and sold within 90 days of listing everything is sold within 90 days so this is 100 percent and sold over 95 percent of the list price it's 91 percent of the properties that were sold in Medfield during this time has sold over 95 percent of the list price so overall we have a healthy market I would say in Matthew and we can see some more buyers opportunities and with the rates that came down say this is a great time to buy if you are a buyer out there and if you are a seller so the market is strong for you as well despite that we have more days on the market but if you see the medium sales per square foot for example, has gone up. So Matthew has been a great, great market this September. Another town that we serve, that we pay attention to is Brookline, Massachusetts. Here, the numbers are a little different. So the unit sales have gone down by 66%. Uh, medium sales price has gone up. And you can see the difference, right? In Matthew, the median sales price was 1.2, while in Brookline is 5.8. So we have noticed that more luxury properties are entering the Brookline market at this time. That's why the medium sales price has gone up by 142%. The inventory here is up by 61%. So more properties are on the market. Days on the market are still up by 200%, right? Compared to last September, days on the market has gone up and month of supply is 7.7% compared to Medfield, which was 2.9%. Here we are at 7.7% and medium sales price per square foot is $927. So as we can see uh, in Brookline, it's a different market and because it's a luxury market as at the same time we see that two things we see here the days on the market has gone up by 20% and also the month of supply so which tells us that uh, the more expensive home like more luxury homes they take longer time to sell and this is 
great numbers that we can see here. And as we can see even in Brookline that only 50% of these properties, they sold over 95% of the list price. So we can see here that Brookline provided more buyer opportunities and the buyers were able to get better deals in Brookline compared to a year ago. So if you are a buyer and you are looking to purchase in Brookline at this time, it might be a great opportunity for you. And if you are a seller that you are looking to enter the market at this time in Brookline, be aware of the pricing. So pricing is going to be very, very important if you are putting a property in Brookline at this time, especially for a single family that is going to go over, let's say $2 million and up. But let's take another look at uh, other town. Here's another luxury town, Dover, Massachusetts, outside of the greater Boston area. It's on the suburb. Dover is well known for the school system. So has one of the best school systems around here. And in Dover, the unit sales was unchanged compared to, compared to September of 2023. It was about four units. Medium sales price has gone up by 13.9% compared to September. September of 2023, the median sales price has gone up. Again, inventory is going up 68%. We have more inventory in Dover at this time or in September uh, compared to uh, a year ago. Days on the market have gone up here in Dover as well. Month of supply has been up by 71.6% compared to Medfield. So this number is much higher. So Medfield and Dover, they next to each other. However, Dover as the month of supply in Dover it's more so there are more opportunities in Dover to purchase and this time a medium sales price per square foot is $370 which has been up by 7.3 percent everything sells within 90 days in all these three towns that we went over but in Dover only 75 percent of those properties that were on the market they sold over 95 percent of the list price so we see more buyers opportunity in Dover and Brookline buyers were able to do more negotiations both in these towns we saw that a month of supply was higher so beware out there if you are a buyer that you might have some opportunity to buy in these towns and again I'll give the same advice to the sellers in Dover that I gave in Brookline that you have to be careful about your pricing so try to price the property really really well so Westwood, so Westwood is another town also well known for its school system. But let's see the numbers for Westwood, numbers for September of 2024 compared to September of 2023. So unit sales went up, so went up by 133%. So we see more movement in Westwood. Medium sales price has gone up by 1,100,000. So this is similar to Matthew. So this is very close. We see that we are building more inventory in Westwood as well compared to September of 2023. So the inventory has gone up by 94.4% very interesting days on the market has been going down by 18.4 percent so it's only 40 days on the market so the property will sell quickly month of supply has gone up by 86.4 five percent so as we mentioned the inventory going up by 94 create more inventory properties might stay longer on the market despite then in westwood they are going down another thing we can see here which is very interesting some properties in westwood they stay longer than 90 days only 79 percent of the properties that were on the market they sold with the within 90 days the other property they stay longer and sold over 95 percent of the lease price only 86 percent of those it's saying that westwood is a stronger market than dover or brookline in terms of negotiation between buyers and sellers and medfield was actually stronger than all of these three towns so seems to be a, a higher demand in medfield at this time 
time. So if you are a seller out there and you live in Matfield, I would go on the market and see that the bar demand is still still very strong. But let's look at another town. So Dedham is a, another town in the outside of the greater Boston area. It's well known for its convenience, especially going into the city, going to the to the South Shore, quick access to all the highways like uh, Route 1, 95 North and South. So the convenience is unbeatable in Dedham. Uh, Dedham probably doesn't have the same quality of the school system that Brookline, Dover or Medfield, but still it's very desired for its location. And as we can see now, the unit sales in Dedham compared to September of 2023 have gone down by 26.3%. The medium sales price in Dedham, very interesting, has gone down by 4.8%. The inventory has gone up, it looks like 117.6%. So that's very interesting number. So we have more inventory in Dedham this year compared to the year ago. However, However, days on the market has gone down. Despite that we have more inventory, properties are selling quickly. So this is a good indicator that if you price correctly, then it's gonna sell. At the same time, another thing here that I want to point it out, Dedham probably doesn't have a lot of houses uh, like Brookline or Dover that are on a very luxury market over two or three million dollars. For that reason, there's more properties on the entry level market they sell quickly. So month of supplies at 2.28 has gone up. So still, but that, that still is a very good number, very healthy number. Median sales price per square feet has gone up again by 23.5%. Properties that are sold within 90 days. This number is at 100%. So the properties are selling within 90 days. We can see here that only 86% of those properties that were sold uh, this time in Dedham, they sold over a 95% of the list price. So we see some room for negotiation uh, among the buyers. So the buyers probably are getting little more relief. Not many properties are going into that bidding wars. Properties are going, let's say, 10% higher than the list price. This creates some more buyers opportunity. And for that reason, if you are a seller, you have to be careful about pricing your property at this time if you want or if you like to enter the market. Another town that we serve is uh, Newton, Massachusetts. Newton, again, is well known for the school system, convenience. It's a great, great town to live and grow family. The unit sales in Newton has uh, gone up compared to September of 2023 by 18.5%. Medium sales price, very interesting, right? It's 1.7 compared to Brookline was 5.8. Most of the property are between one and two million dollars. Another interesting factor here is the inventory has gone up by 34.2 percent compared to September of 2023. Days on the market has gone up by 34.2 percent. So this is another indicator here and month of supply has gone up by 3.9 percent. Very interesting. Sold within 90 days of the listing. Only 84 percent of this property were sold within 90 days we see that the market is softening up a little bit in Newton and another indicator here that only 56% of the properties that were sold, they were sold for over 95% of the list price. As we can see here on all these reports, we see that the markets are softening up a little bit, it creates more buyers opportunity. We see more inventory coming on the market. We see more property that stay longer on the market. But then look at another town, which is outside of the greater Boston area, Norwood, Massachusetts. This town, great for first time home buyers, more affordable than I would say Brookline, Newton, Dover, Westwood or Medfield. Let's see here what's the activity in Norwood, Massachusetts in September of 2024 compared to September of 2000. 
2023. So unit sales have gone down by 25%. Median sales price has gone up by 9.4%. So it's at $785,000. Inventory has gone down by 18.5%. Days on the market have gone down by 64.7%. So this is actually the best number compared to all the other towns. As we can see that maybe the buyers just like going for more affordable markets in real estate and Norwood is one of those towns and month of supply is 1.9% so it's gone up to 4.8% but still that's a very low number. The seller market in Norwood looks to be a little stronger. The one thing that shows are really well these properties are sold 100% of these properties are sold within 90 days of the listing and 100% of these properties are sold for over 95% of the list price. You can see uh, when a town is more affordable compared to the towns that we mentioned before, we see that the prices are a little stronger, the sellers are in a stronger position and here the market might be more competitive than any other and the other markets. So if you are a seller in Norwood, this is a great news for you. You can now get again top dollar for your property. Some properties uh, might be going through multiple offers and I've been in a couple of situations that property has been in multiple offers. More opportunity as a seller and if you are a buyer unfortunately you still might be in some bidding war depending on the price range or the range of negotiation might not be as strong as it should be for you as a buyer. I'm gonna recap here with West Roxbury, Massachusetts. This is another more affordable town that compared to Brookline Newton. So if you like to be near Boston but don't want to pay too much money for your property and you're looking for a more affordable market than uh, West Roxbury, it's a great town. So a uh, unit sales in September of 2024 went up by 10% so this is a lower number that we saw in, in the other towns medium sales price this is very interesting uh, has gone up by 5.3% so medium sales price in West Roxbury I said $960,000 which is a big number you know for West Roxbury the inventory hasn't been changed so it didn't see that changing days on the market have gone down by 35.35% so this shows us that the properties are selling quickly months of supply it's at 2.3 so it's gone up by 1.3 percent so we don't have more properties in West Roxbury September of 2024 compared to 2023 and medium sales price per square foot have gone up by 5.8 percent so it looks like a, a strong sales market it has more buyers opportunities than it has a year ago I still say a strong sales market sold within 90 days of listing only 90 1% of those properties sold within 90 days and sold for over 95% of the lease price only 91% so again property selling quickly you see buyer demand is still strong and as we had the great news that the rates came down a little bit that created a more buyers opportunity however as we can see in this report the markets are less competitive in the luxury market on a high end like Newton, Brookline, Dover and Westwood and in towns like West Roxbury, Norwood or Walpole which are more affordable markets and Dedham we see that the market there is still more competitive since it's more affordable and the buyers are probably trying to get to these affordable markets. Again thank you for watching this is Ilya Kobe with the Kobe Real Estate team at William Ravis. You see the value in this video please share with someone or make a comment what are you experiencing in the real estate market at this time and if you want to get in touch with us if you like to sell your property or buy a property then our team can help you so you can be the winner in this market again thank you for watching and see you on the next episode thank you